Welcome to our presentation on how to synchronize ACT with Hosted Exchange. So what we want to do here is to connect ACT and we're going to use 123 Sync uh, to do the job and then we can either connect with a Microsoft Exchange system or an Office 365 system. In our case here, in our example, we'll use Office 365. So how is this a setup? We have ACT and the 123 Sync, we're going to put it on the same ACT server. So we'll have ACT running. In our case, it's going to be ACT for web. And um, then we connect with the Microsoft Exchange or Office 365. These systems are either on your local network or on the cloud. So there are a couple of requirements that you need before you do that. One of them is you download Mappy CDO from Microsoft. So now we support the connecting to Exchange without the need for Outlook. And here's the download link. Make sure that you download exactly from this location because if you go to the Microsoft website and you search for Mappy CDO, it comes up the same version, but it's the wrong executable. So this is the executable you have to download from the Microsoft website. The first part on the system, you have to uninstall the current existence of Mappy and CDO, if it exists. We'll show you how to look for it. Then you install the one you downloaded. You configure 123 Sync to access the mailboxes. And you need a couple, three th pieces to connect to the Exchange mailboxes. You need the SMTP email address, the username on the Exchange, and the password. And then it's just a simple matter of synchronizing with the cloud. So we have set up a um, virtual machine on Azure that has ACT over here, ACT for web, and we're going to install all the different pieces. What we've done, we downloaded the Exchange Mappy CDO, and one thing you should check, one of them is it says 2,552 kilobytes. If there's an old one, it's actually 2553. So this is the correct one. So you just double click on this and it will come up where you want to extract it to. And we just extract it directly to temp that we've set up here. So we go here and there is the Exchange CDO Mappy. Before we install the Mappy CDO, let's see if there's a Mappy CDO already installed on the system. So you go to Control Panel programs, uh, program and features, and we list the, li uh, the libraries that are there. And this library, messaging API and collaboration data objects, are the one that's the Mappy CDO library. So if this is installed, just uninstall it from your system because you're going to be installing a new one, and you say yes. That will remove the Mappy CDO from your system. So let's go back into the extracted version of Mappy CDO and just double click on that and now you install the new Mappy CDO on the system. So you agree and finish. Now we're done. We are now ready for the next step which is to install 123Sync. So let's just go to our downloads. Uh, we have a copy of 123Sync that we downloaded from our website. Let's go in here and double click on that and you'll get a little hourglass and it will start installing on the system. Here we go, just click next, say accept and then uh, we'll just put a uh, John, just put as John uh, full name and just install 123sync. So now it goes on and it installs the, the Microsoft libraries that we need. We click on reinstalling here. We install this. Just the, We use the Access 2010 uh, en database engine to run all our indexing. So we install the database engine from Microsoft. 
Now we're done. And now it's installing the rest of 123Sync on the system. Okay. Click on finish. And now we're done. We are now ready to start 123Sync. So let's go to the start button, click on 123Sync. And that will start 123Sync. It will tell you that you have to select your Act Database. We click on Browse. And there's the Act Demo. Click on that Open. It will ask for a username and password. We use our Chris Huffman for that. Chris Huffman. We have a little password that we give it. And it will say, OK, we found the Act Database. Select the United States. Now you're ready to go. So now that we have 123Sync up and running and connected to the Act Database, we now need to connect it to the cloud. So we just select to the cloud with a hosted exchange. And we'll ask for SMTP server, username, and password. So our SMTP is a 02 at uh, 02.on my microsoft.com uh, 02 at 02.on microsoft.com and then the password. So what you can see here is that the SMTP address and the username to log into Office 365 that the, that's the account we're going to be accessing are identical. On some systems, that may not be the case. But in our system, that is the case. So we just click on Test. And what it will do, it will give me an error. Well, let's try again. Click on Test, and we'll give you an error. And you can see that it is name not resolved. That means there's something wrong of the data we just put in there. So it says failed to log in, so that didn't succeed. So let's look at how we spell things. A zero on micro, oh, we misspelled uh, Microsoft. Microsoft. Soft. So now that we have these two spelled correctly, let's click on test and see what happens. So now it's logging into the Office 365 mailboxes, and it's testing it. It'll take a while to, to get in, and it'll tell you that it succeeded to log in. And it, it asks you, do you want to set up your default folders? So immediately you can log into the Office 365 and set up your default folders that you have set up for that particular user in Office 365. You say yes, and then it goes to Office 365, and sets up all the default folders. So now, not only are all the default folders set for contacts, calendar, and tasks, but also if you go to the email section, it sets up your inbox and sent items. It does not enable the email integration from that area, but it does set it up. So in case you want to start e integrating your email, all you have to do is check this, and now all your email in Office 365 is going to be uh, integrated. So now we've set up 123Sync to connect to Office 365. So as a final check before we start synchron synchronizing just Chris Huffman, just do a test login, make sure that the test login into ACT actually is working. So it says login succeeded. So if you have any other users that you want to go to a different Office 365 settings, you just click on that user, and then you just set up that user to the hosted exchange, and they will match the user to the hosted exchange. Always make sure that you are able to log in into ACT. In this case, we haven't set up a password. Let's see if you log in. It won't allow you to log in because the password is incorrect, and it will prompt you. So you say just Fred Fen Fender line. And you just add the password that we've given him. 
and now uh, it will tell you oh now we can log into act and all we have to do is set up the SMTP address username and password and then Fred Fenderline can actually be synchronized to uh, a separate account on the hosted exchange a couple of things before you sync. Uh, it's always nice to to sync straight away and uh, and you get going. Uh, if you start with an empty Office 365, uh, that's that's great. But if you start uh, with an existing Office 365, uh, and uh, you may always want to make a copy of the data that resides in the Office uh, Office 365. 123Sync offers a very quick way of doing it. So if you go to Tools and you go into Advanced, and we have a Tools, on Outlook Exchange, we can actually say, OK, do you want to make a copy of the calendar and contacts in, on Office 365? And if you click on Copy, that will copy all the data that is in that calendar into a separate folder in Office 365. So if you click on Copy, it will now go into into the office 365 folders and start copying all the data that's there into a backup copy in office 365 this is this is particularly important for a first time that you sync so in case the uh, the users don't like the data or they want you to change something on the data it's always nice to say look this is what we started and this is what we ended up with so you can compare how things done and it only really applies to the first time that you sync but after that it's quite easy you know you should just basically sync and do it uh, automatically but this will just make copy of any data that you have there in case you want it so after it's done uh, copying all the data you will get an all copy of items has finished message and that means that uh, all the data that is on the hosted exchange is actually copied to a, a backup uh, file or a backup folder on, in Outlook. So just click that, close it, and now we're ready to sync. So just click on synchronize. It will tell you to synchronize and just click on sync. And now uh, we'll syncing all the data for Chris Huffman and matching it to our uh, hosted exchange. Usually on the first sync, it's quite cumbersome because you're going across the internet to a server somewhere around the world, and uh, it may be slow. If it's on a local network, this will be obviously much faster. So just let it sync. Uh, by the third sync, uh, it should uh, the speed should go up dramatically as far as the the syncing because we will only sync modifications between act and uh, the data on the hosted exchange okay well this completes our uh, tutorial on how to set up one two three sync with hosted exchange so obviously as a final reminder contact your integrator or just contact us at 123sync.com uh, for any more information or our website at 123sync.com where we have downloadable product as well as a whole range of video tutorials for your use.